Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you some very weird, interesting ways of making money. Now, some of them are going to be very, very effective and adds a lot of variety to making money. Although some of them are just very interesting, like how you can actually make money from it. So let's get right into it. So I'm sure we've all heard of mythical seeds and how they used to be used for gambling, hot and cold. Uh, when you planted it, it came up with a different color. However, now it comes up with the same color. However, when you pick it up, it comes up with a different color flowers in your inventory. So flowers are completely useless. I mean they can be used for implant jars but they are very cheap next to worthless. However there are black flowers and white flowers. Now the black flowers have a 1 in 434 chance of receiving and the white flower is 1 in 1667 chance. So these are really expensive because people want them for fashion scape. The black flowers are worth 35k and the white flowers are worth 130k. These have obviously kept the price because who wants to be planting mythical seeds all day? So I worked out the fastest way to plant these and it's a bit like Hunter and uh, like when you lay a trap you plant them to the west. Now then, if there's an object in the way to the west, you'll go back to the east when you plant it. So then you'll just go between the two spaces. So if you find like an object to the west or something near a bank, it's very easy to get invents. And you can complete an invent in about 45 seconds, which means you can plant 2,160 flowers per hour, which means you have a very good chance of getting that white flower and quite a few black flowers and like maybe even two white flowers. It's all to do with RNG, like that's how RuneScape is. You know, you could get five white flowers or you could get none. So I could have left the rest of the flowers in, but I thought it's just literally gonna take forever. Like who the hell wants to buy flowers? The ones I'm after are the white and black flowers. I still insta sold them and got a really good price for them, which was amazing. I could have left them in and got like 20K each more off the white flowers and like 10K more off the black flowers, but whatever. Uh, deducting the prices of the mythical seeds, uh, we profited 223k in half an hour. It took me half an hour to plant 1,000 mythical seeds. So yeah, pretty interesting way of making money. Like, imagine if you got more than one white flower, you know, you'd be in the 600k per hour. And I don't think this is going to be room because who the hell wants to be planting mythical seeds? Implin jars are always very, very high in demand and they always will be because catching implings is amazing profit. Now, how do you actually make these implin jars? There's actually quite a few methods. Um, you can open up hunter kits. You can actually make them yourself. Another way is trading in any core impling for three empty impling jars. So what is the cheapest impling jar out there? Young impling at the moment. I managed to get my hand on some for 1.1k each. However, obviously the prices are going to vary all the time and impling jars go for about 1.2k each. They vary from 1.2k to 1.4. So what I would do, I would take nine young impling jars, I'd teleport to the uh, Slayer Cave and to the Fairy Ring and then obviously to Pure Pure. It's a bit click intensive. Unfortunately, you can't buy all of them, so you have to do them separately. An invent would take just over a minute, which means you can do 50 invents per hour and I'd buy the young implings for 10k, 9 of them for 10k and then I sold the implant jars for 32k. So I was making 22k profit per invent, which works out to be 1.1 mil per hour and I'm pretty sure this has no requirements apart from like 17 hunter to access Piero Piero. Obviously you need to do Lost City which is a really easy quest and fairy rings. But yeah, very low requirements and very high money. But let's say, obviously, it took me quite a while to buy the Young Gimplings for that price. Imagine if you bought them for 2k each, which is a pretty standard amount. Obviously, you'd leave them in. You wouldn't insta-buy them because you'd be buying them for a lot, lot more expensive. So let's say you got the Young Gimplings or the Baby Gimplings for 2k each and you left them in the GE. You'd still work out to have 600k profit. Even if you bought them for 3k each, which is very, very expensive, you'd still make 250k profit, which is insane. And impling jars will always have a massive demand. Next up, we have buying ores from the ore shop on Yatizo. It requires the Fremenic Isles quest. And the thing about this, it's very, very AFK. Now, Without a bank pin, you could just buy the gold ore and make serious profit and just hop around all the world and you can probably make loads and loads of money, but 
If you just stick to one world, that means loads of people can do this. And basically, you just buy all the gold ore on the coal and you wait for it to spawn. And then you buy all the gold and coal and the bank is just there. So you, so you can AFK for literally like a minute. Each invent takes about 1 minute 20 seconds. So you can do about 50 invents per hour. And it costs you 3,300 GP per invent, which grants you 6,600 profit. Times that by 50, that is over 300k profit per hour just by buying shit from the store and doesn't really require much GP at all. I tried this by buying all the iron and coal and gold and doing loads of invents per hour but it's actually more efficient to just AFK and not use stamina potions and just wait for them. I mean yeah you could hop worlds and buy the gold and make loads of profit but yeah it's literally as simple as that and make yourself over 300k profit per hour. So as you guys know I recently just got clean so there's gonna be a lot of different money making videos so i hope you guys are looking forward to all these and then we'll get back on track to peak in and all the shit we usually do very very soon so thank you for watching hope it helped you out hope it was interesting see you very soon peace